Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life, and I know some of you are probably confused as to why you're seeing a Leg Life upload on Saturday instead of Friday. Well, today, Saturday, April 6th, is my 39th birthday. And so I wanted to make a quick video talking a little bit about that. Talking about things that I hope to see happen over the coming year, talking about some goals that I have, and talking about why, frankly, I absolutely love birthdays. Now, I know that I've talked about this in a previous vlog, but the reason that I love birthdays so much is that it's really the one day a year that we celebrate people just because they exist, just because of who they are. So many celebrations in life are around what we do. Think of like graduations or promotions or even marriages, that kind of stuff. But a birthday, you had nothing to do with it. We're celebrating the fact that you exist. We're celebrating the fact that you are here. And I love the fact that we celebrate just the existence of people. Like you matter just because of what you are, just because of who you are, not because of what you've done. That is why I love birthdays. Birthdays are also an important milestone because it gives us the opportunity to look backward, but also to look forward. To say, okay, what is the last year held that I'm really proud of, that I really love? But then for the next year ahead of me, what are some things that I would love to see happen? And so as I've been thinking about that over the last couple of weeks heading toward my birthday, there really are two things that I hope for the next year. These are goals that I have. They're things that I really want to be true a year from now as I'm ending my 30s and turning 40, which is crazy to even think about. But those two things are, number one, I really want to make a lot of improvement in my health journey. Now, if you guys have been around Leg Life for a while, we've actually talked a lot about this in the past. Some of you guys might not know this, but I've actually lost over 100 pounds. I was 420 pounds at my heaviest. And so I'm really proud of all the weight that I've lost. But one of the dangers is like settling for good enough, right? For me to be like, you know what? I'm not as heavy as I used to be. Sure, I'm not where I'd like to be, but I'm okay right here. But the reality is, is that I'm not okay right here. And one year from now, I want to be heading into my 40s healthier than I ever was in my 30s. That is a huge goal for me. And health for me isn't necessarily just about weight. Obviously, that is a part of it. But health for me is just like overall quality of life, right? Am I able to do the things that I want to do to give myself the quality of life that I want to have? And right now, I would say for the most part, that's true. But I want it to be even more true a year from now. So one of the things over the next year I'm really going to focus on is continuing my health. Yes, hopefully I'm going to lose weight. But more importantly, Importantly, hopefully I'm going to be a much healthier version of myself a year from now. And the second priority and focus area that I have for my next year as I end my 30s has to do with a kind of margin in life and time for relationships. You know, one of the things that Sherry and I have loved the most about our life is the fact that we have genuinely unbelievable friends. Our whole marriage, we have had the most amazing community of people around us. But one of the things that we've really started to see happen, especially over the last year or two, is that life has gotten so full and so busy that the people that matter the most to us, we have had less and less time for. In fact, an example of this from even earlier today, I was texting with a couple of guy friends. We were trying to plan a guy's night and I'm looking at my phone, trying to find a weekend. And I realized that I only have one free weekend in like the next two months. And so it's like, I want to be with these guys that I love and that I love spending time with and I want to be around but there's just no time in my calendar for that. And I hate that because I am a firm believer that relationships are the most important thing that we can invest in. And so for me to have like a busy calendar pushing out relationships with people that we love, honestly, that just kind of like breaks my heart a little bit. And so over the next year, I want, uh, I want us to figure out how we can say no to more things in life so that we can say yes to relationships. Because even though we have amazing friends in our lives, we just don't get to see them nearly enough. And I think that's something that both Sherry and I really long for. Like we want to see the people we love. Like these are people that we want to be around and want to spend time with and want to watch their kids grow up. But the busyness of life just isn't allowing that to happen right now. So clearly something needs to change. So those really are the two focus areas for me. Number one, health and number two, relationship. Those are the things that if I could end my 30s and head into 40 saying I am healthier than I have been in more than a decade, and I am closer with my friends than I have been in my entire adult life, I cannot imagine two gifts that I could give myself and that I could give Sherry and I that would be more impactful to our lives than those. And the reality is, is that those two priorities have probably been driven by a lot of things lately. Uh, you know, it has been kind of a crazy year. I've actually had a number of friends that I went to high school with that I knew growing up who've passed away in the last year. And you reach the season of life when you start going to more funerals than weddings 
and you just realize that life has changed and sometimes it's not as long as you think, right? I think of good friends of mine who, who aren't here any longer. And I know that we talk so much on this channel about like living life and finding your adventure and making the most of our time here. And I just wanna make sure that that's something that I'm doing and not just something that I'm saying. So you guys, that's all that I wanted to do on this video. I wanted to let you know what my goals are for the upcoming year, what some of the things that I really wanna focus on. Uh, and then I also wanted to just thank you guys for being a part of my journey. One of the greatest things over the last year of my life has been the community that is building right here. I love the fact that many of you who might have just started out as viewers have now become friends. And I really, really love that. And I really do thank you. And I know I say this a lot, you guys, but thank you for everything every minute you have given us. Thank you for every view you've given us. Thank you for uh, every comment you've left and every like on our video and every time you've told a friend about our channel. I appreciate that so much. Uh, you guys are one of the things that I'm most thankful for over the last year. And honestly, I cannot wait to see what the next year holds, not just for me, but for all of us. I love you guys. I'm gonna go celebrate my birthday and we will see you on Monday with the next Leg Life video. Yeah.